As you can see in Dutch behind me, this building hosts mechanical engineering and maritime engineering. On the top of the building you can see the four ladies wearing the four elements that form the basis of all engineering. In this building we teach students in three bachelor programs and seven master programs. Two of these master programs are material science and mechanical engineering. Mechanical engineering is split up in five tracks, namely biomechanical design, energy and process technology, high-tech engineering, vehicle engineering and transportation engineering and logistics. Our didactic concept is based on combining theory with practice. Therefore, in this building there are numerous labs where students can train their theory in practice. In this film we will give you an overview of a number of these labs and we will show why our students are so popular in industry. General Facilities The library of TU Delft was built in 1997. This unique building in the center of campus is not to be missed. It offers bright and open study spaces to all TU Delft students. The Auditorium The large plenary lectures for the first year mechanics classes are delivered in the Aula Congress Center Auditorium with 1,000 seats. Instruction rooms for parallel classes. After the lectures, students have tutorial classes in groups of about 50, led by a professor with two teaching assistants. Project tables. Students work in groups of eight at the project tables. The tables are also used for small practicals in mechanics and mechatronics. Student workshop. Students learn basic skills to turn their designs into reality using classical techniques like milling and turning and modern techniques like laser cutting and 3D printing. Self-study. The faculty offers a large number of self-study places found all over the building. They are open to students throughout the day and in the weekend. This popular location overlooks the heart of campus. Materials Lab Here, students prepare a sample of paint for fluorescence. The Bachelor Final Year Project During the final year project, students work in groups of four in one of the 3ME research labs. Here they test a new type of wind turbine with a wider control envelope than regular models and shock propagation through bubble curtains to reduce the impact of constructing offshore wind turbines on marine life. Track 1 Biomechanical Design the Minimally Invasive Surgery and Interventional Techniques Lab has a fully equipped mock-up operation room used to develop and test innovative surgical instruments and training systems for minimally invasive interventions. The Gate Lab The Gate Lab is used to study the biomechanics and motor control of human movement, employing motion capture, ground reaction forces, and 16-channel electromyography. Track 2, Energy and Process Technology. EPT students participate in cutting-edge fluid mechanics research, including turbulence, non-transparent flows, and multi-phase systems. The Hall. In this multi-tiered facility, Student researchers gain hands-on experience in biomass and thermal energy storage, fuel cells, heat pumps, and process intensification. Intensified Reactions Lab In the Intensified Reactions Lab, EPT researchers are using lasers to make crystals with an enormous speed-up in rate. The Robot In the Robot project, Students are using a robot to study fluid structure interactions and to optimize the size and shape of a rowing blade. 
Track 3, High Tech Engineering. Mechatronic System Design. In the track High Tech Engineering, students acquire the skills for their future careers in the Dutch world-leading high tech industry. Here, students work on new concepts for mechanisms, actuators, sensors and control to achieve the necessary extreme precision in next generation systems. Nanoscribe. Students have access to new, flexible, small-scale manufacturing techniques such as 3D printing from macro to nanometer scale. Deposition Lab. Here, students study the growth of large flakes of error-free graphene for use in sensors and other engineering applications. Track 4. Transport Engineering and Logistics In the laboratory of Transport Engineering and Logistics, students study the design and operation of machines for safer, more efficient, and sustainable future transport systems. Identification of Flow Patterns The interaction between material and equipment is studied. For instance, in this setup where the actual behavior of bulk material is compared with complex, discrete element simulation models. Autonomous Guided Vehicles Lab. Here, automation and control of automated guided vehicles used in advanced container terminals is simulated in the lab. Autonomous Vessels Delphia 1. Fleets of autonomous vessels are used to study the performance and environmental impact of complex networked logistic systems. Track 5 Vehicle Engineering The Prius Lab Multiple sensors on the Toyota Prius are recording the environment. All the important objects in the environment are then uh, being detected with the detector which is shown here in the left video. The detections are then used uh, to estimate the actual position and velocities, or in other words the tracks of these objects, and that's shown here in the right video. Materials, Science and Engineering In Materials Science, the relationship between properties and structure is examined. Here, students assess the influence of metallic microstructures on the thermal mechanical fatigue properties of an alloy for a diesel motor cylinder head. Mechanical Engineering at TU Delft